are putting together a bag like this for school and you want to go get a new one. The place that I go to look for them are honestly thrift stores and you would be surprised at how many really nice quality good brand uh, cosmetic bags that you can buy at thrift stores. Now I know not everyone is exactly thrilled with the idea of shopping at a thrift store. They're cosmetic bags and you can sanitize them and wash them. I have a few examples of all thrift store um, bags. This is by Clinique and I paid 25 cents for this one. Really nice. I've used this before several times. Um, this one is the one you've seen probably in my what's in my purse video. This is my walking pharmacy so we're going to get into this one later. But this one I paid I think 75 cents for um, and this is just a little Lancum bag. Very cute and I love the shape. This one costs I think about two dollars and it's just a little Estee Lauder bag and I already have it full of the things that we are going to talk about and um, not all this stuff I would keep. I just have options for you. Don't get scared now. Okay. What I thought would be really fun about this too is to show you a couple of options of a few of these products that maybe you might not have heard of. That's what I'm hoping for because that's what I'm all about, y'all. Y'all know I, I'm, I'm here to save y'all some money and still get fabulous products. Let's see what I have in here, shall we? So first and foremost, hand sanitizer. I've got Jelly Jam Donut and Pure Paradise so I can have a sweet and like a floral. Might want to keep some tissues with you because you never know. Either some tears or the sniffly nose or a friend might ask or whatever. Another thing I always used to keep were cough drops and I really love these by Ricola. They're just like, I think they're the, the honey and herb ones. They're not really strong. Don't smell very menthol-y. If I'm not already sick, I'll keep these with me and I know sometimes like if you're sitting in class or if you're just out or whatever and you're like oh no I'm feeling that tickle in my throat these are awesome I really love these I know not everybody likes the flavor but I used to always keep these with me just in case this is a little pill box that I got at Target I was a lot prettier but I've gotten a lot of use out of this but in here um, I actually do have a couple of Advil and um, I don't know if you all are allowed to keep that kind of stuff anymore with you but um, that's what I used to keep. Also just a couple of hair ties and um, a couple pair of extra earrings because you never know. A little baby baby tiny hair clip and then also a couple of different extra earbud covers just in case. You may not want to mix all that stuff together in there, but for me it works and that's what I used to do. And I think a lot of schools have really cut out the gum chewing. Fortunately, since I'm a gum addict, um, I could chew gum when I was in high school. I chewed it like nonstop every day. It brings some Altoids or some, some kind of mints or um, the Listerine strips are really good. Of course, you need a mirror and a brush and you've seen these a million times you can get these pretty much anywhere for a dollar maybe even 50 cents um this one i think i got at ulta for a buck uh, deodorant this is very important this is by dial and it's the uh, crystal breeze uh, 24 hour protection this is only a dollar at the dollar tree it is a roll-on so you do have to like roll-ons but there's two things I love about this. The size of it, the portability, obviously, and the fact that it is as strong as the clinical strength deodorants that you pay 10, like not 10 times more, but you know, like seven times more for. So why not? Why not get this? They have the little travel size deodorants, or I know some people, myself included, I used to just bring a full-size deodorant. I mean, ain't no shame in my game. So, I used to know some girls that would uh, bring their toothbrush and toothpaste. I like these kind because you can um, keep it sanitary and it, it just stays in this little container and you can get a pack with this with also the little tube of toothpaste for a dollar, I believe at Walmart or Target. Tums. Just because you never know. But if you've got an upset stomach at school, um, these do come in handy and they, they may just work. I mean, it's not just for heartburn. They do sell them in the little rolls, which is what I used to carry with me. Oil blotting sheets are a must. Back in the day, I used to rock the old school clean and clear, just in the, you know, the cardboard little bitty 
box and they work just fine. Also, they have these at Big Watts. These are actually all-purpose cleaning wipes for face, hands, and body. They're grapefruit scent and they're little mini wipes. One dollar and they come in this precious little container. And if you want to get fancy and put it on your backpack, I mean, I don't know how fashionable that would be, but I guess you could do it. That these are a great option also and super cute. So we'll put those in our bag. So you want to smell good and most people like to carry either body spray or a perfume or both. I really love these two body sprays, these two brands. This one is called Body Fantasies and is Pink Vanilla Kiss Fantasy. And this is only one dollar and the bottle is so tiny so it's perfect for your purse, for your uh, beauty kit, or you're not a perfume girl, this is the way to go for sure. The other one that I really love is by Bodycology, and this one is called Sweet Love. And as you can see, I got this for 25 cents at Big Lots. So what you can find normally are two packs of rollerball perfumes and the little lotion. This is a knockoff of the uh, Viva La Juicy that I found at the Dollar General for one buck. Lotion by Bath and Body Works. You guys know they have these. These are the perfect little size. This one's white citrus. So I always have lotion with me, always. Lint Roller. This one is by Arm & Hammer and it's super cool because it, like it folds. I really love this. Um, I found this at Ollie's. It's kind of like a big lot store for about $2. Lint Rollers just really do come in handy. Full school and just for life in general. Tide Pins, but this one is actually a Dollar Tree version of a Tide Pin and it works just as well. So this one is called the Go Stain Remover Pin. Eye drops. I used to always carry eye drops with me. I used to carry two kinds actually, and I still do to this day. These are just lubricant eye drops. You can actually get a bottle of these for 88 cents at Walmart. And then also I used to carry redness relief eye drops. You know, some days you cry at school. It happens, it does. Um, I'm not sure if you guys would be allowed to have something like this anymore, but um, a sewing kit, uh, cause you never know. This one is super cute. It came from the Dollar Tree. And it actually came in a little bag with a little pair of pink scissors. But nail file, um, a mini nail file at that. This um, one's got the nail file on this side and then a buffer on this side. You can find mini nail files in multi-packs for, you know, a dollar or under pretty much anywhere. Even if you don't take PE or you're not practicing sports or doing anything, sometimes you just want to throw your hair up in the middle of the day because you're like screw it. I always like to keep different types of um, hair bands and you know things like that with me and I corral them with a hair clip and I keep different a few different colors just in case. I don't do anything fancy for bobby pins. I just literally rip off part of the card of bobby pins and just throw it in my bag um, and that's what I've always done. I roll like this. I'm just being honest. So if I want to get fancy during the day with my hair, I used to carry like any type of bow like this. Your girly products. And yes, I'm talking tampons and things of the like. I used to keep mine in a separate bag. These can easily just be grabbed out of this bag and just thrown into either my backpack or my purse. I have got some tampons in here. And I also keep band-aids in here because I feel like they don't get as damaged. Something I, I really would have wished I had in high school, you guys. If there's a million people in the bathroom and you gotta go and you use these, nobody's gonna know. I promise you, you can get these at the Dollar Tree for $1. So for the sake of time, here are the makeup items that I used to keep extras of in my locker. And also, um, I wanted to just do a voiceover because I know everybody likes different brands and everything. The only thing I forgot to list was powder or a compact or something like that, but I used to always keep that in my purse, but I did keep an extra one in my locker as well. Also for one dollar, I have discovered BB Lips and these are by the Perfusion brand that people are seeing at the Dollar Tree a lot recently with the eyeshadows and such. Got two of them here and this one is grape and this one is the watermelon. They come so stinking close to baby lips. 
it's not even funny so this is another budget friendly option it's basically like getting two for the price of one of these so that's everything in our bag and it actually did all fit in here very nicely and it still doesn't look bulky so Please let me know if you would like any more back to school videos um, on any topic. If you are starting school or if you're in school, leave me a comment down below and let me know what grade you're in because I am really curious and I would love to know. I'm not a creeper or anything, but I love to know where you guys are from and like how old you are and you know uh, what grade you're going into. So I think that would be fun also if you want to. Um, that would just like make my day fabulous. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye!